Hey guys, so um, I found a way on uh, using one of those Git clients to connect to AWS CodeCommit. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward, but you know, Amazon doesn't give you great instructions on connecting through SSH without their command line interface tool in which I've tried multiple times and I've successfully connected through with uh, different tries and uh, different methods. So um, right now I'm going to use Tower as an example. Uh, it might work with source tree and all other um, Git related clients, but uh, for this tutorial, I'll just stick with Tower because, you know, it's my preferred client for now. So I'll get started. In the repository name, uh, it's pretty simple. So I'll just write any repo, right? example repo. That's fine. So create repository. And you know, congratulations, there's repository has been created and right now I would click into the repository right this is the overview page and I'll copy the SSH URL uh, somehow I've tried the HTTPS protocol doesn't seem to really work and then I did some research <clears throat> and uh, they told me that you really need the uh, credential helper and I'm like Great. So I didn't do that way. I just, you know, set up SSH. So right now, what I did was I copied SSH plus put it into the notes I'm going to do. This is basically the uh, the SSH command you're gonna have to do later. Uh, this is the username. I'm just gonna set this as an example. You could set it something else. It really doesn't matter, but you know, both works. And uh, after I've set the repo, I'm going to click services and I'm going to head to IAM. And then for the users, I'm going to create a new user, right? Using my awesome username. And uh, I'll uncheck this generate an access key for each user. I mean, you could create it, you don't have to, but you know, in this tutorial, it's not required. So uh, I rather not create it because you know once you create it, they're gonna have to ask you to save all the information, and I'm like, I don't want to lose it. So I rather not generate it. So just click create. Okay, so uh, my awesome username, great. Permissions, attach policy, and then I'm gonna search code commit full access. Attach policy, scroll all the way down, and then you see the SSH key for AWS code commit. Okay, time to access terminal, right? Uh, all right, so I am going to CD, whoops, my bad, CD to my SSH folder, and right now you see I only have a known host file. And that's fine. So what I have to do is create an SSH key for Amazon. So SSH that key gen, and then it's generating. So enter file and wish to save the key. So for this example, I would use code commit underscore RSA. Why? Well, I mean, um, it's code commit. You're connected to code commit, and this is an RSA key. And uh, you could change it, but in the later on when we're doing the config files, um, you're going to have to change the identity file too, which um, might be a hassle for beginners. So just, you know, it's recommended to leave it as code commit underscore RSA. So um, next, enter passphrase, just leave that empty. And then I have the uh, identification and the public key, right? Good. Now I have to create, uh, let's see, no, I have to cat out the code commit 
rsa.pub, the public key, right? And then you're gonna see a bunch of random characters, something from the top SSH RSA to like, you know, probably an IP address or your um, computer username. And I'm gonna go back to the SSH keys for code commit, click upload, paste it in, and upload SSH public key. See this button, right? And then it's gonna come back with an SSH key ID. Good. Now, after all that, I'm going to touch config, right? That basically kind of creates the config file. chmod 600 config that sets the permissions. And then nano config that is a friendly text editor for terminal. And what you're gonna have to do is uh, copy and copy this line, paste it in. And as you see, at the bottom, there's this identity file. Um, by default, it's code commit underscore RSA. If you have changed that before, you could change that uh, name right here now. But since I didn't, I'll just leave that alone. And for the user, that's the SSH key ID from IAM. And uh, I'm going to copy this SSH key ID. Go back to terminal and paste it. So after all the work has been done, this should look similar to this. Right? You got an SSH identity file. And uh, to exit and save this, so press Control X, save modify buffer, press Y, and enter. Right, and you pop back out um, after you save the config file. Okay, great. So now uh, you're gonna SSH the git code commit dot uh, us. No, actually Amazon. Um, so once I paste that in, tap enter, and it's gonna say my authenticity of this host can be established. So I just type yes, tap enter. And you're gonna see you have successfully authenticated over SSH. You can use Git to interact with AWS code commit. Interaction of shows are not supported. Connection to Git code commit, blah, blah, closed by remote host. Okay, so that tells me that you've successfully um, connected. And uh, now we're done with all this uh, terminal stuff. So uh, after that, now it's time to bring up your GUI client. For me, it's Tower, right? And right now, I don't have a repository, so I am going to create one. Create a new local repository, right? And I'm gonna save that into the clone repos. Gonna create cool repo. Right, and then create repository. Right, so I have that. And what I have to do is I could open, or I could just double click here. And uh, right now I am going to add a file. Let's see, documents, repos. Right, I'm do, going to add a file. To sync hello world save into the cool repo. Oh, it's that thing again. The dreaded save error. So I'm just gonna randomly crap out. Okay, I don't know why I saved it. Okay, I saved it here. Boom. Okay, so this text file. Hello world. Okay, now I can close this. And uh, right now, I'm going to add the repo, add remote repository. I'll just type Amazon here, and then for the SSH URL, it's the one you copied earlier, way before in the beginning video. Right, I'll just paste that in, and here's the trick. For authentication, leave it password, Username, password, leave it blank. Click add remote. Boom. You're connected. 
now it's fetching from Amazon, doing all that stuff. And uh, to test it out, I'm going to do an initial commit, right? Stage all, commit, and it's on the head right now. And what I have to do is drag this master, and you see how in it has a publish. Drag that out, publish branch, local master, remote Amazon, and publish. Boom. And right now, all changes are done. See, right now you've uh, submitted your code to Amazon. And to see what happened, code commit, last updated 17 seconds ago. And boom, there you go. Now you can start working on your code and save them onto Amazon servers. Well, thank you for watching. I am Jackie, and have a nice day.